Okay, so I've got my flamingos here, and I have moved them from the zoo photo, and um, I've basically just selected, copied, and pasted uh, into the image of Sarah. And so uh, what I've done is I'm just creating a layer mask, and then I'm just going around and cleaning up the shadow and uh, with my brush and cleaning up around each of the flamingos. So it's a little bit of a tedious process um, just doing each one. Uh, and I, I kind of went with the ones that were against the water rather than the ones that were against the grass just because much easier to blend. Um, this is a pretty simple layer masking. Um, so I'm just going to keep going with this and um, eventually we will have them all done. Okay, so I've come back again and um, I'm going to add some more birds. I have three or four flamingo images that I'm working from. I just photographed them at different angles and, um, and I'm just going and I'm um, selecting and uh, pasting and then doing a layer mask. I'm also, uh, when I bring them in, I'm playing with the levels um, to make the birds match the lighting in this scene with Sarah. And um, so I'm just going to finish all this. And then when I come back, we're going to do the final touches. Looking forward. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is take this beautiful sunset image. Um, I'll be honest, I shot this photo with my iPhone. Um, I just happened to be outside and it was just a beautiful sunset. So the colors remind me of the flamingos. So what I'm going to try to do now is somehow blend this sunset in with this image, either reflecting on the water, um, but I'm going to have to just... Uh, play with the blend modes and um, see what I can get here. So um, I'm just going to keep trying the different blends until I see one that I like. And then what I'll have to do is create a layer mask just for her. Um, since the birds are all separate, it makes it a lot easier to not have to erase off of the birds. So uh, I'll just have to erase off of her. So I think it's going to work out. We'll see. Um, can't be afraid to try these things and uh, see how they'll work. So I'm going to keep doing this. And then once we're finished, we will come back to the final. Okay, so I'm 
ready to do my finishing edit. Um, I've got uh, the sunset photo in there. It blended beautifully. I erased it off of Sarah's body um, and it's on the birds. And so now what I'm doing is I'm taking it into my favorite program called Alien Skin. And as you can see, I'm trying all kinds of different options um, for the final look of the piece. Um, there's so many choices and usually what I do is I'll just go through, I like that one, is go through and find the ones that I like and I just kind of go through them all at first. And then sometimes I'll even save one that I really like and then um, come back to Alien Skin with the original piece and look at other um, at other ones and then even possibly blend more than one together. Um, you can do that and then just play with your opacities on each one. Um, Alien Skin also gives you the options to play with opacities right in the in the program. You can see on the right side here um, there's a lot of options as to what you can do and that's why I love it so much. But what I'm going to go through here is just try and find the best look for the vision that I had for this image um, with the pinks and the, and the peaches and the different tones that I want to uh, have the final look. So I'm just going to keep doing this. Oh, I like that one. Um, it's so fun. This is the best part for me is to get to this part because this is just uh, where you just really get to be creative in the final look. Um, but I will be back momentarily with our finished piece. Okay, I'm back. This is the final piece. I did end up um, blending a couple of different layers from Alien Skin together uh, to get this and um, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out and it's called Flamingo Ballet. Uh, Sarah and I were at the zoo um, New Year's Eve and she loved the flamingos and so I just had this idea that it would be fun to put her in there and she's she's uh, she's very willing and she got a new skirt out of it so um, but it was such a fun time and I'm so happy with the way that it turned out and um, I hope that you learned something and, uh, and I hope that you will subscribe to my page and um, be able to see other videos that I'm going to be putting out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.